What's up guys, James here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing something pretty cool. Um, what it is, is that uh, in a reef aquarium, as with most aquariums, you generally get um, some sort of pest appear. And in my case, um, sometimes you can get pests appear um, on corals or specifically ones that can uh, kill corals and uh, cause a lot of damage to them. One mm, very popular one in particular is um, a type of anemone, it's a pest one called Aptasia. And uh, also it's very invasive as well from what I've read and can spread across your aquarium and uh, yeah, cause a lot of damage if it wants to. Fortunately for me, um, I recently got sent a product from NT Labs called anti Aptasia, which I was planning on using, but after reading the instructions, it says that you shouldn't use this product um, close to corals, and as the Aptasia that I have in my Nano Reef Tank is actually right on a zoanthid, um, I don't really want to risk um, using the solution and then killing the, uh, the actual coral itself. So one really cool tip that I found out um, from uh, someone on Instagram was that uh, a good way of killing Aptasia like this is to use super glue which at first I was a little bit struck off by because I was like uh, how does that work but apparently is a very effective method that a lot of reefers use to uh, get rid of Aptasia that's on corals so fortunately for me I have some super glue sent to me by Arca Aquatics so I'm gonna give it a go and uh, see what kind of results I get from it. So uh, let's take a look. So here's my aquarium at the moment. And as you can see, I've got a few corals in here at the moment. And I just wanna take a look down at this one. Um, you can see that there's different types of uh, sort of pests that sometimes come with your corals. Now, I just wanna clarify that I do dip my corals and uh, I have documented that in previous videos, but it doesn't always get rid of the pests that you want. But this one is a bubble anemone, and I have been told that it is not intrusive and generally not a pest. Um, but yeah, it's just something to look for. And yeah, if we scroll over to this way, there you go. That right there is Aptasia. Now it's getting bigger and I feel like I need to do something about it before it starts to spread around the aquarium. So I'm going to use the super glue and see what happens. I'd just like to point out that I've never actually used super glue in an aquarium before so uh, this should be interesting as well to see uh, how it actually works. Right, so we got a glue ready. So what I'm gonna do is try, if I can, to show you where the Aptasia was. The lighten. There you go. And right there, that little brown spot is where the Aptasia was. So that's what I'm planning on gluing. So fingers crossed. I love the fact that I'm using super glue as well because uh, I'm awful when it comes to super glue. Because generally, I, uh, I tend to end up gluing myself, so it should be interesting to see how this goes. So 
So if you can see, I'll try and get a close up. Well, sort of splodge of glue that I've added to the coral. Again, apologies for the lighting. I'm working on it. It looks like the coral um, the coral glue has worked. Um, when, when you apply the glue there, it's, uh, it's starting to go like a misty color from clear, so you can actually see the uh, the glue there, but I'm not too fussed with that, because hopefully when the polyps grow, uh, they will uh, cover the, the glue anyway. So uh, yeah, let's get it back into the aquarium though, because I think it's uh, a little bit upset my coral. So the coral's back in the aquarium now, and if I zoom in, you can see a big blob of uh, clear stuff where I applied the super glue. As I said, I'm not too fussed. Um, I'd rather a big dollop of super glue uh, covering it than a pest uh, that is gonna potentially kill my corals, and like I'm getting photobombed here by a Bangai Cardinal. Um, but uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's hopefully been a massive lifesaver there. So yeah, that's uh, definitely a great little life hack right there. If you haven't got any anti-aptasia or um, anything else to, to kill the pest off, you can just use super glue apparently. Um, it looks pretty good. Like I said, um, it is a bit of an eyesore, but once the polyps grow, uh, that should uh, cover any super glue anyway. And plus, people glue corals all the time. So, you know, nobody else complains. Um, the only thing I would say is that um, the, the super glue trick probably wouldn't be great if you had a massive outbreak of Aptasia um, because if not you're just going to get lots of uh, massive dollops of uh, super glue all over your, your rock and stuff like that so it probably would be an eyesore and it's probably treated more effectively using some sort of uh, solution so probably the best route to go down there. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, the person on Instagram who uh, suggested this life hack for me called Headley's Reef. Definitely go check the page out. It's got some great content and uh, yeah, clue you some great advice too. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you got any tips, tricks or hacks for Aptasia that uh, I haven't tried out or something that you think would work better than super glue? Um, I'd love to know so definitely leave them in the comments and also if you could hit that subscribe button it really helps me out with this channel and until next time you stay safe.